One of the earliest and most practical top-down nanofabrication methods is high-energy ball milling. The principle is straightforward. Powders and hardened balls are sealed into a rotating drum. As the drum turns, collisions between balls and powder particles generate intense impact and friction. These repeated collisions cause severe plastic deformation, progressively refining grain size into the nanometer range, typically 5 to 100 nanometer. Ball milling is versatile and cost effective. It can process metals such as aluminum and copper, alloys including steels and high entropy systems, ceramics like zirconia and even metal matrix composites. Because of its scalability and simplicity, it is used extensively in both laboratories and industrial production. The driving mechanism of ball milling is the alternating sequence of impact and friction. Each collision transmits kinetic energy to the powder trapped between the balls. During impact, particles fracture, producing smaller fragments. During relaxation, some cold wear also, forming new interfaces. This continuous cycle of fracture and welding refines the grains step by step. Dislocations and strain accumulate and eventually nanocrystalline structures with extremely high defect densities emerge, responsible for enhanced hardness, strength and reactivity. Different mill designs achieve similar goals through distinct motion paths. A planetary mill has jars rotating on their own axis while orbiting a central axis, producing very high energy and shear, ideal for small batches and alloying research. An attritor mill uses a stationary vertical tank with a rotating steerer shaft, enabling continuous operation and larger batch sizes, well suited to industrial nanocomposites. A shaker mill rapidly oscillates a while, giving moderate energy and small batch capacity, useful for quick laboratory tests or a mechanochemical reactions. Each configuration balances energy input, throughput, and scalability depending on the intended application. Several parameters govern the efficiency of ball milling. Milling time, longer duration yield finer grains but risk contamination. Rotational speed or energy input, higher speeds increase collision frequency and energy transfer. Ball to powder ratio. A higher ratio accelerates refinement, yet may promote agglomeration. Atmosphere, inert gases such as argon or nitrogen prevent oxidation, while reactive gases can initiate compound formation. By tuning these variables, researchers can tailor microstructure, composition, and phase evolution to achieve desired properties.